Well, so there's this uh, <clears throat> thing online that says that if you wear a mask, your oxygen content will be reduced and you run the risk of passing out while you're driving or other complications. Um, so I don't think it's true. Uh, and I've read articles. I read one article yesterday, just a little bit, that is not true. Um, it doesn't make sense that it's going to restrict. It's just really not, you know, really not restricting anything. And doctors and nurses and a bunch of people go 12-hour shifts, you know, 24-hour shifts wearing those things. They don't pass out or anything like that. I suspect that those people are running, they're being short of breath when they wear just one of this mask. Just, they're, they're making the, the meme or the, you know, the post on Facebook that this mask costs lower oxygen concentration. This thing does not seal. Uh, this is mainly just for a droplet, you know, to stop in the droplets to come out of your mouth and some drop in the droplets to, you know, to not go in your mouth and your nose. And then your eyes are free. But we're going to test it. So I have a an oximeter, pulse oximeter. I did like five minutes. I'm on a treadmill. I'm starting to get rehab myself after having a nice, you know, hemicolectomy. That's a big ass scar. They took out half of my intestine <clears throat> due to a diverticulitis. That was on the 16th of April. So it's been a little, couple of days over a month. So this, I bought this uh, Walgreens. Seems pretty accurate. I was tested while I was in the hospital. My oxygen levels are almost 100. Uh, even though I got asthma and stuff like that. So, here we go. I'm going to test myself. Bear with me here. So, right here. Uh, and I'm going to go with the finger all the way in. So, so there. <sighs> Ninety nine at one oh seven is my pulse because I was exercising a little bit. One eleven, ninety nine. All right. So now I'm gonna put my my um, mask on. Bear with me. And it's got a little um it's got a little um go underneath here and go as far up as you can and it's got a wire so i'm going to shut it off and just take the finger out and it'll shut itself out <laughs> Now, so I'm going to stick my finger back in there. I had shut it off. You see, it's off. I'm going to turn it back on. And we're going to see. Ninety-eight. Ninety-seven. We're at 98, 97, 98, you know, so there goes that theory. It's just not true. Your oxygen levels are not going to drop if you wear one of these things. So, you know, you can wear it, especially if you're if you're with somebody in the car. See, this is the thing, you don't know. The person could be asymptomatic. They could have the virus in them. They could be shedding the virus after they speak when they they say a P or, a, or an F, you know, a letter P, letter F. Um, if they sneeze, if they cough, if they breathe through, I mean, you name it, and you're inside a car, you know, 
on, you could breathe one of those droplets, even though it's a heavy virus, but you got the AC on, it's blowing everywhere. So you might want to, you know, you don't have to don't use the AC when you got somebody next to you that you don't know, you know, it would be ideal that you don't, you know, bring people that you don't live with inside your car and drive around with them. But if you have to, you know, at least cover your eyes. I have, and then cover yourself inside. You're not going to fall. And I'm talking, look, I'm talking. It's still 97, 98. You see, I'm just, you know, breathing on purpose hard just because I breathed on, on purpose hard when I was doing it without the mask, you know, to keep the test as, as fair as possible. So look, it's still, still 99. And I'm talking. So it's not true. Okay. All right. Wear your mask.